<laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Unreal Engine Learning Stream. I'm Alexander Pascal, and once again, it's Ian Shad. Yeah, all right. So last time, we left our uh, we left our project kind of in a little bit of shambles. We had gone an exceptionally long time on that stream. Yep. So unfortunately, yep. this stream, given that everybody's out, is going to be slightly shorter than last time, um, mainly because Alexander's he's, he's wussing out on us. <laughs> I had a meeting. I am so sorry. <laughs> nah, he's got meetings to get to, so it's all right. Uh, so this time, let's go ahead and let's just repair some stuff yep. and get things more functional. Um, we've pushed our project to 4.10. Uh, I just did a convert in place. Everything works out okay. Uh, if you're worried about that stuff, please do a you know convert copy, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mainly because it's like, I really like the new feature where you can like right-click on the pins and be like, align, and it just aligns everything. It's great. It's a uh, so the it, whole it reason really, the whole reason we're OCD. upgrading projects is because Ian likes the align pins node. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> uh, I also <laughs> tested. Um, <laughs> there was a question in the previous thread on the mm -hmm. uh, hearing perception, and was wondering if it was working in four point ten. Yes. Yes. It is working in four point ten. You, you just kind of have to know how to install it and activate it. Yeah, it's just the. It, I don't know why hearing has enemy friendly, neutral. Uh, what is a yeah. sound? That sound is an enemy sound. Obviously, I can tell through the... We'll, we'll grill Mieszko on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, that's been but in there for a while. And what you end up doing is just turn everything on. Yeah. And it's just like, it, whatever. So, we'll, we'll, and by the we'll way, he's going to be on next properly. time. Uh, yes. We, uh, we have him We scheduled. have confirmed to get Mieszko on for uh, yeah, the next uh, AI stream. Yeah, so he's going to um, come in here, he's going to look at all this and be like... Yeah, he, uh, he actually just kind of found out that we were doing AI-related stuff. He's like... What? Without me? <laughs> yeah. He wasn't happy. So anyway, he let's jump fine. in. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump in. And uh, we're going to start by correcting our um, our service. So our service that finds for stamp check. We really need to re rename it because it's going to quickly become yeah, a, the everything uh, checker. an everything check. The stat checker. Yep. So... If I remember correct, so I got up on the other screen like a corrected version of it, so I could remember what it is we I actually need to do. And the big thing is, is this is a big kind of no. Uh, one, we set it to true, and then we never reset it to false. So our guy, once he gets hungry, just eats everything. He just binges, I guess. So we need to kind of just move this out, and it needs to happen after the fact down here. Um, and then we'll need a temporary bool to store our status. So I'm going to create a new bool and say possibly found stat, mainly because we can make a decision after the loops are all completed whether or not we actually want to act on the hunger that we're experiencing, whatever that hunger happens to be. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this in. We're going to reset it at the start of the service. So whenever this fires, it'll just go ahead and reset. And we'll set that to false. Compile, save. And then down here, if we ever get dropped in here, we'll go ahead and set it to true. And by setting this to true, it's like, OK, well, maybe we have a stat, OK? And we're, we're going through here and we're rating all these and whatever. We don't need our, our print string anymore. Mm -hmm. All this stuff is working just fine. Um, and then when we come down here, after our loop completes, we need a branch. And this branch will feed off of possibly found stat. And if it's true, then, yep, we will totally set the, uh, the Blackboard chosen stat. And we will set the find food key to true. And then if we f don't find anything, we'll set it back to false. Um, the big thing is, of course, is as this loop runs above, it's going to say, "Oh yeah, we totally we we totally found a stat, or we didn't find we didn't find a stat." And if we set this back to false, then our guy will stop eating all the things. So let's see a quick check on what we have going on up here. That's all. G no, that's not good, is it? Stat level low. Now, this should be the other way around, I believe. Oh, also, we're not checking it against the correct variable here. So that needs to go away. That needs to go away. This needs to go away. This is going to be a greater than equal to. Wow, that's 
That's new. Yeah. Time span. That's not at all what I was looking for. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll come down here and pull off this one. Go to that equal to. Mm -hmm. Plug that into there. Plug that into there. And our stat low level. Oh, I forgot to highlight that. Um, I believe this one ends up being inverted. So we want a high level. Or no, we just want like 25, I believe. So if the desirability is greater than our low level, whatever that happens to be, then we will go ahead and allow entry here. Later on, what we're going to want to do is, and this is like kind of just like percentage based at this point, but we're going to want to weight stuff more appropriately. Um, so instead of doing an individual stat low level, the simple way that I thought about doing this was just having a, because all of our stats can have different, you know, ranges. We could have, you know, a million strength and only 25 intelligence, whatever. We would just have low levels based off of what the character desires to be low. So he's like, oh, I'm feeling pretty dumb today. I better go read a book. And he can go pump up his intelligence in that fashion. And then test value. Yep, 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 yep. All of that should be fine. This, I believe, works right off the bat. So we hit play. He's no longer just running around. That's interesting. Ah, I'm going to go immediately eat the bad food and kill myself. This does not seem like a winning plan. Oh, let's pause real quick. Going to see what's going on in our service over here. Oh, no, I hit stop. No, oh, whatever. Oh, interesting. What did I screw up? Was it this one? Pause. So, why is this firing almost consistently? Oh, it's because it's every point two seconds or so. <laughs> why? Why does the service why does, why fire the service when you tell it to? Fire? Oh, yeah. And there's probably something else we failed to do. Um, blackboard. Uh, bring this over. So we're also running the old um, bit here for we're running a behavior tree over here instead of running a uh, um, our actual good stuff that wait a minute yeah why aren't we running the good stuff over here what happened did we uh, did it accidentally roll back or something we did that last time didn't we what we actually we set up the EQS to find Run behavior tree. No. Yeah, see, this is, this is, we it must have rolled back a bit. I could almost swear that we went in and we, uh, we had the behavior tree running and it was actually finding good food because we created the, uh. It happened to us once before where we forgot to save at the end of the thing. Yeah, I must have not have saved. So. And you know if you hit the save there, it doesn't save all. I know. That's why I normally hit control S off to the side. There you go. Um, well then, hold on. Let's. Go into our AI, make sure we have our EQS gen. Item of stat. That looks like it to be, wor yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, well, oh, failed to save, so gotta go ahead and make sure that we, uh, mm -hmm. make sure everything works. And we don't want to run Wait a minute. Run behavior. We don't run behavior. We want EQS. So we're going to run an EQS query. This query, hopefully, that's, yeah, find good food. Let's look at that one real quick because I'm pretty sure. Yep. There we go. See, item of stat. So we have all the assets. It's just the behavior tree we didn't see. Yeah. So just bum deal, but whatever. Let's yeah, a little, little fix. We'll reset that up pretty quick. He's going to be looking for stat one. I believe that is correct. Yeah. Looking at a center, and then we're just doing a distance. Because stat zero is health. Yep. Important zero. to remember. Yep, yep. And honestly, I th I'm not sure if we actually 
made that adjustment to the generator, but we're going to be making that adjustment to the generator if we haven't already, where it actually returns. You can feed it in whatever stat you desire, and it will just get that from the character that's asking if we haven't already done that yet. So this is good. That's good. We don't need you ever again, probably, hopefully. So we're finding food, and then instead of move to location, we're setting desired object, and we're doing move to desired object. Um, and this should keep him going after the things he wants to go after. Control S, make sure we keep that. And even the blackboard is a save, so saved. Now let's, uh, let's crack open our gin real quick. Now actually, our gin I don't think is actually... And we'll make sure that, yep, get actors of class, find food, actor location, stat, desired stat. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't change it up so that he, uh, he, that this part will actually get the user and, or pardon, the, uh, uh, the AI that's requesting and get its desired stat. So that's all right. Um, we can remake those changes. Or maybe I did this off the stream. Uh, I did have to do some experimentation to make sure I was on the right track. But whatever, let's see what he does now. Hit play. He's not wandering randomly, which is kind of not cool. That probably means I have that greater than left hand sign, less than sign incorrectly set. So yeah, now he's not looking for anything. Let's go back into our stamp service check. Hit play, pause, there we go, resume. Yeah, it's always firing through. So he's always looking for something but never finding anything. So I must have this backwards from what I have over on the other screen. Stat low times 101 minus, no, that's all the same. Stat low greater than but he's not moving, but he's always saying go through here. Oh, that's right. I'm kind of dumb. I'm slightly dumb. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, you so weren't even paying attention? Yeah, you got away with that one. Uh, sorry, I was I was in chat. Yeah. Uh, stat desirability is set up right now to be a little wonky on us because we haven't done the actual weighting of anything. Oh, right. So we need to make sure that he doesn't actually want any of these. So I'm just going to set stat desirability on this because um, he's always going to come back and want all of these. So we'll just set these all to zero. And so with all those, all those set to zero... The only ones that matter are the first three. First three don't matter because they're all over 100. Oh, okay. So... Again, double checking my brain. This has to return a value greater than stat low level, which is currently in 25. And this is doing a drop, because this is one minus times 100. So now this has to be like 85, doesn't it? Well, we'll find out real quick. If he starts moving at 25, no, he's still not finding it. And we're probably still tearing through it. Yep. Still tearing through it. So let's take this up to 85, which is just makes it really weird. Again, these are all things to correct. Yep, there it goes. Now he's just moving normally. But of course, he's still not going after anything. So let's check our food again. <coughs> I think this is another thing that probably didn't get saved. Plant food item inherits from good food, okay, which is good. And then their primary stats are all zero. That's what I thought. Something else I probably didn't save last time. Control S, play. There we go. And now he's having issue. Ooh, what is he? What, what are you doing? He's freaking out, man. OK. 
Okay, yeah. Whoa! He's having a weird one. Desired object is that food item. Yep, mm. and the whole collision thing should just work. Ah, check out his move to. Well, yeah, it's move to desired object. Mm -hmm. right? Click on it. Oh, he can't. He can never get you there. You can't get to it because it's at five, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look who called it. It was Alex. Alex called it. Because that happens to me sometimes when I'm just doing some rough stuff. Uh, if you you have to remember that the move to is not based off of like the closest collision of that object. Yep. It is the origin. So if you're going to be moving to something that is very wide, like a very large mesh, you have to remember that you have to make that like acceptable radius much larger, yep. so that it gets close enough to the origin of it. I really, it'd be nice if this could be a variable. What, uh, acceptable radius? Yep. Because then... Get Mieszko. Mieszko. We need, yeah, because then that would make a lot of sense because, because then I contextually, could, yeah, you could say, get, trace you could say, yeah, get the mesh's bounds and then use the bounds. Well, uh, here's the weird thing. He's not tracing now. What'd you do? I don't know. What we must have do? totally broken everything. We, I love, we... <laughs> <laughs> yes, we. You were there. You didn't stop me. Okay, let's go into... Yeah, go into the uh, use function. Yep, but let's I see think what that's... Nice. I think he controls that. Mm -hmm. Or does he? Or does the food control it? Uh, no. Event AI use item. Wait, did we create a task for that and we just didn't put it in? Oh, yeah, he's moving to stuff, but use item, task, use item. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We need more coffee. Apparently. Yeah, usage range, crank that up Actually, to... Actually, we're going to, we'll just change it back to 150. Yeah, 150. The, uh, I like just stopping distance at 150. Yeah, we should just like stream this like all day, every day. Because then we wouldn't, we wouldn't run into these <laughs> week long gaps where it's like, what were we doing? Did we forget to save? Play. Okay. He shoots it. Mm hmm. And it hits. Now we're no longer successfully using the item. Step by step, closer, closer, closer. So he traces, he hits it. Mm -hmm. Use item is fired. So all of this worked. So I'm um, interface is usable. Well, yeah, I mean, it just has to implement that interface, mm -hmm. which they all do. Does the barrel say to destroy once it's used? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Base classes. So plant food inherits from good food. Good food. Bringing it back on the main screen. I mean, we were going to do some stuff to this, but... <laughs> Just a refresher in case everyone forgot what how this is supposed to function. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's event use item. Mm -hmm. uh, AI character gets passed in. Task use... We're uh, passing in our pawn. Yep, target. Wait a minute. Uh, in the uh, oh, it's because the character yeah. calls it right. Like yeah. So AI uses mm -hmm. item. Item to use. We do a double check. Is it a usable thing? Okay. Use item. A character we pass in ourselves. We're not receiving this, so we're getting past it. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is saying we executed successfully. We don't have any prints in here, but the fact that we got here, oh, I didn't see if it failed execution there, but I don't know why it would some, I don't know why this would start failing on uh, that point. Sorry, that was my phone. I know, this is like a movie theater. What are you doing? <laughs> um... So I have a feeling this is working just fine. Mm -hmm. Good food class. Mm -hmm. Here, let's do this. Uh, 
uh, toggle breakpoint and double check our plant food make sure we're not overriding anything we're not like we're nope. stat restore is only 100 so whatever we don't have any functional overrides so let's see if we ever actually get to desiring to use it something else we can look at does that disappear it's not hitting the break point yeah but also look we're also not we're not stopping so i bet if we go into the behavior tree right now it's gonna be broken oh flipping out pause back into back into back into okay forward in, we're failing I, I could have told you that already. no no i'm literally literally this is failing like that's the thing like this is telling us this is failing out so that means because we actually do have a, a failure point it's hitting here so that means this is false so desired object key is not equal to the hit actor oh, these guys are persistent aren't they throw my phone across the room please um all right <laughs> well hang on check the desired object key it's being set by the eqs right and yep. we so desired object if we go back into our our behavior tree mm -hmm. desired object is set here mm -hmm. blackboard key to return for our generator is a desired object we are moving to the desired object yeah and then the desired object key is being dropped into here however are we no, we're getting it as an actor. This is tracing through it. You know what we got to do there, right? Where? What you uh, say? It's like you see where it says hit actor. Can you uh, can you right click on that and say, uh, you know, watch this variable, or at least like print just to see maybe if they don't match up for some reason. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll just pull off here. And we're going to go, yo. Yep, that's the cheap way to do it. And we'll do another one. And yo. Oh, yeah, duh. Hmm. What? I think I know what's happening. It's going to be really silly. Oh, no. Is it? It's really, really simple. These aren't going to match up, are they? Nope, they're Be not. Because it's a parent and a child and it doesn't nope. like that? or Nope. See if anybody on chat gets it before I do. Mm. Yep, see, they're not matching. They're flashing by 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6. Okay, apparently they wrote... No, no, they... Okay, so what's up? Uh, well, no... Let's uh, look at our. No, no, see, no, 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 I'm wrong. That can't be right because our EQS is fired and we're done. Right? Mm -hmm. This is fired. Desired object is set here. We move to it. We do our thing to it. And we're hitting it. So why would this not work all of a sudden? We have our. Well, go into the I mean, go into the task because it's the task itself that's the problem. Well, it's not the move tickets. Yeah. All right. So these were returning. Actually, we need to figure out right quick. Let me go back into uh, the uh, behavior tree. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's EQS generator that's printing out a bunch of garbage right now. So let's go ahead and change that to not print out a bunch of like so. Compile, save, mm. control S, save everything. Task, use item. Let's reconnect that really quick. Ugh, compile, save. Yeah. Are you Play one more time. Yeah. Make sure I wasn't crazy because we, we had some serious spam going on. Because we were going through the generator again and again and again. Oh, that's interesting. They do match. They're exactly the same name. 
So well, they're the same name, but are they this? Are we comparing the same thing? That's a weird thing to say. I know, right? Like, mm -hmm. wait a minute. This actor should equal this actor, right? Desired object key. Desired object key. Desired object key. Desired object key. We don't have to cast because it's already an actor. Well, I mean, we could do something really just. Well, that's only going to work for one thing, though. No, it'll work for everything. Instead of doing equal equal here. Huh. I. This is terrible. I approve. No, no. I approve. No, this is this is. If anybody knows anything about string comparisons, <laughs> they should know <laughs> that this is terrible. If this works, it's oh, terrible, oh and gosh. we should not use it. We need to figure out why. We need we need to come back and figure out why the actors aren't comparing correctly. Because that is that is atrocious. Where is he going? There he goes. No, see. Ah. Oh no, no, the trace is still there. Wow. What is that? Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did we do? Uh, Ian. No. I mean, it. We're just simply asking if it's the same thing. No, you need to run like Fumble or something. Do you have one of those? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to make a Fumble graphic? We need that. Interception! Because yeah, I. That is baffling. We're not crazy. You guys all saw that too, right? Anybody Anybody got anything? Any insight in chat there? <laughs> uh, no, they just called you lazy for doing a string comparison. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, super lazy. Uh. Well, okay, well, what's supposed okay. to happen on true? Okay, so, so. Hold on, we'll just. Yeah. <sighs> wow, oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, this is returning true. Yeah, it's returning true, and then something's, something's messing up here. AI use item. So we're already in the item, though, aren't we? Okay, so this, no, is, this is the task. Okay, this is returning false here. Our thing does not implement the interface. Oh. Uh, but wait a minute. Why would it not implement the interface? Go go to it and see Our if Our pawn it, doesn't implement the interface? No, it's not about the... Oh, is it the control pawn? Wait, yeah, no. it, the pawn, is he not usable? Like, Why, wait, would, wait, wait, why, wait, would, the why would the pawn be, be usable? usable? Okay. Why did that work before? I did. <laughs> He's been using. This only things. raises more questions. It doesn't actually <laughs> make sense. Well, I mean, I don't know. It could be something. Uh, unless it's the range. Yeah, unless it's that length there. It could be. I mean. What's the use range set up to? Well, it wouldn't matter either way. Well, no, it has to be under or equal to the use range. What's oh, the use range? Oh, oh, good point. If the use range is 100 and we're at Hold 150. On. You know what? I'm just ah, yeah. Here, yeah. There's, there's never where sixty four saying the same thing. Yeah, this is backwards. Is that what they're saying? Yeah, I think so. There you go. No, see, we're all international. <laughs> Get them euros. And then that was connected there. So basically, if the return length is less than or equal to the use range? Yeah, what's the default use range? Uh, Do we actually uh, set that anywhere? Zero, no, that's uh, that's exposed. Okay, well then where is that set? Okay, well then no, what's that exposed. set to? It's, it's 150. Okay. 150. Uh-huh. So make that 200. I don't think I have to, but... No, what okay, fine. What's it gonna hurt? All right, fine. Like you're over here, like it doesn't work. I, I don't want to try. Actually, no, you're probably videos. absolutely because of the angle, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't I say that last time? Yeah, probably did. All right, let's try that again, because I think the the use range is less than or equal to. If my actual range is less than or equal to. <laughs> yeah, you gotta step through that. Okay. Okay. Now we're returning true. Good call. Uh 
Uh, and yin? Was that yin? What was that? Okay. Whoa. Making it rain yin, which okay, are the equivalent item. of pennies. So we're going to step through use item really quick. Yep. 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 Okay. Ah, I guess it's just working now. Oh. <laughs> well, right. that was it. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's special thanks. Uh, yeah, who called that out? Uh, that was... Um, Oh, I just had him. It was ne oh, there it is. Neverwhere sixty four, who apparently was trying to tell us this. He's like, I saw this from the beginning. You guys are so. Yeah. Just listen. Yeah, yeah. He was. He was. Apparently, he posted on the forums to let us know, and we totally missed it. Oh, was that? Oh, that's what he was trying okay. to say. And you. Yeah. I, you saw yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? He tried to save us all this time. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Shall Boy, we get a we need needs the, a sound effect needs, for this that? This needs that needs to change. We need we need a sad horn. We need that sad horn. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so now yes. he is successfully devouring food again. Okay, well that took far longer than I thought it was gonna take. Yeah, no, it only took us thirty minutes. It to only get took this us far. thirty minutes to fix that, and then we're gonna go break everything even further. Yeah. Because that's how I roll. Yeah. Again, thanks. Thanks, Neverwhere. Yeah, dude. Thanks. That's awesome. Good call. I should probably just do a... Um, <laughs> because I'm going to make that mistake going forward for forever, because I'm going to want to do equals this equals to that, right? Which is not going to give you the right yeah. Right. Result. So what I should just do is like... Oh, save? You should save. <laughs> Who said that? No, yes. I did. Yeah. So what I should do is do... Yeah, 150, and if I set this to 150, that's fine. And then we automatically just go add in another 50, 100 units. Yeah, yeah. Because the range, more. I mean, it's it's fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just don't want to run into any... Well, no, because you wouldn't run into that instance if it's on the other side of the wall. The problem is if it's on the other side of the wall and he, he tries to use it, he's just going to sit there and be like, I can't get it, it's through the wall. Right? Yeah, because you have the line trace. It's all yeah, because you have the line trace. So mm -hmm. you, wanna, you need to make sure that this move, too, is actually close enough. Yeah. So 150 seems okay right now, but we'll we'll keep an eye on that for the future, and might have to do a um, a an adjustment move after the fact. It's like, oh, I couldn't use it through a wall, so we'll go around it. All right, let's go let's go mess up foods because I had a way. <laughs> yeah, we need to make a wine task so that he can't get the food. He's like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, Come good on. good suggestion. Well, we are gonna do yeah. All right, <laughs> I'll I'll add it to the list of audio we need to do when we're doing the uh, conversation stuff. Just just whine at. Okay, good food class. So really, what we need to do is change good food class back to, into our base food class. Um, yeah. Because too many weird food classes. It, it's really it's this is the issues. one we've been this is the one we've just been working in. And so uh, I made some modifications uh, after the stream last time to account for having food that can, how do I say, kind of like how in Skyrim, you know, you can make poison that also gives people health. Like, it damages your stamina, but it increases your intelligence. Whatever, right? Like, um, so currently our food items only affect one stat. We need to make it so that we can have them do basically whatever we want. Um, and then we won't actually have a good food, bad food. We'll just have food. Mm -hmm. um, and really what this will turn into is stat consumable item. Mm -hmm. And then we can subclass off of that to whatever we want to subclass off into. Yeah. And then, and then you can just be just dump in whatever you want. And then eventually we'll need something that's more like uh, like permanent stat boosting fixture like a book, right? You don't consume the book, which would be kind of funny but, you know. That's Isn't that how you read? Isn't that how you read? I just take out each individual page and eat yeah, it. Nom nom nom. So we're gonna make a few adjustments here and uh if somebody suggests it, mm -hmm. because you, you guys are way smarter than us right now, oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I am probably going to be doing this in the wrong place. We should be doing this in the character, 
basically querying the item for the stats that it's going to give me and then saying on the character, like, okay, I'm going to do those things and you go destroy yourself kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to go ahead and just keep with the idea that we're doing it here. And if it becomes a problem later, uh, we'll fix it. But I'm trying to think of an issue that would crop up that would be outside of debugging because you see how we're currently kind of all over the place. Like a lot of that comes down to organization. Mm -hmm. And we're we're not we're 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 I think we're probably going to set ourselves up here for uh, uh, I need to sit down after the stream and look at where we're going so that when we eventually do come into these dead ends where it's like we're wandering around like we just were, like we have some understanding of where we need to go. Yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and make this much more awesome. And I have a fail horn now, by the way. Oh, good! You have a fail horn. Oh, we can't hear that. <laughs> we can't hear that. No. Okay, so we'll just have to we'll like, just wait twenty seconds. Yeah, wait a few <laughs> wait a few seconds in chat. We'll be like, okay, yeah, there's a horn now. All right, so we're gonna do a four each loop off of the current stats. This is going away. Stat index isn't going to be used anymore. Kind of. Uh, we're just going to rename it uh, primary stat index. Um, currently, you'll have to. I, in the construction script, we can set up something that scans the stat restore array and will dump out into there the primary stat so that when we're looking at for it through the EQS, we know that this item primarily gives stamina. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we'll, we'll currently, we'll just manually keep manually setting that and then we'll go into the construction script and make it better. So we're going to be going through the stats of our character and essentially adding them this is this is we've already found the thing we're going to use it right mm -hmm. so we don't need stat restore and what we're going to need to do is turn our stat restore into an array change variable type and compile save yes i know there's nothing to get well i don't actually need you anymore compile save and our stat restore, we're going to go ahead and dump in the six uh, slash pardon the seven uh, stats that we have. Stamina is the first one here. I'm going to set that to a hundred, like so, just so that there's something default in there. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with our primary stat index. I'm going to default that to one because uh, primarily we're working on stamina right now. And now we're going to go through each one of these. just like we're going through all the stats, and we're going to add them back into the character stats. So a lot of what we have is already, you know, rock solid. I mean, we have the, uh, we're gonna have the array give us its info, and then we're gonna have our stat restore feed into it, and then we do that, but we don't wanna destroy it until our loop is completed. So now we get to just arrange things really quick. <laughs> that green spaghetti. That green spaghetti. Who likes green spaghetti? <laughs> Actually, what is green? Is that like pesto spaghetti or something? I think that's pesto spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start with his mom's spaghetti jokes. <laughs> Shelly over here with the jokes. And by the way, if you guys didn't know about the, the whole right click to align thing now. Oh, yeah. You can right click and just be like straighten. And it aligns it perfectly. Um, so nice. It's so nice. And let's see. Do I have an? Yeah. If you have like a uh, multiple instance like this, you can straighten connection two, and you can choose which one to align it to, um, which is kind of cool. Be like, ah, aligned to the for loop. Yay! All right. It was pretty awesome. For OCD people, I'm I'm sure it's a it's a godsend. So arrange, 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 and I believe we're good enough right now. So the only real thing that changed in this is that. Now we're going to go through, and these items will be able to do tons of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so just to... Oh, I wonder what's actually going to happen to the plant foods. We need to go... Repl all the well, they're all broken. That's yes. fine. Because uh, we need to come in here. and This, absolutely not. This is no longer going to happen. Um, mm-hmm. 
because those things are still just going to be exposed. Not there. Wow, this is kind of world settings can just go away. We'll bring up our details, and we'll get a plant food here. And now we see our stat restores here. And let's go. Let's just select all of our plant foods, so we don't modify uh, all of our uh, our base class here. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to have them. Which one's health zero? They're yeah. all going to hurt you now. Every time you eat, you take 25 damage. Oh wow! Why? Because reasons. Um, <laughs> he can he can only find really really unhealthy food. Really, yeah, he's eating McDonald's. I all keep right? I keep getting full, but at the same time, I know I'm not getting nutrition. <laughs> But this will allow us to test whether or not these things are actually working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the only downside is, is we're not actually doing damage. Um, maybe we should, I don't know. It can be a, we'll do a, it'll be a zero damage thing just so that we have a reference for it, I guess, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get to there. So he's now going to wander around. And he's going to be like, oh, I'm so hungry. And it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Why did you fail me? Why have you failed me? Well, I know he heals pretty quick. That's one thing. So. And now I have to fail twice. Now, yeah, okay. <laughs> you just play it. <laughs> All right. So. We're getting, we're going through his current stat values. We're setting them. We know that. Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. <sighs> there we go. It's always the little things. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's really weird that it was boosting its stamina, though. Huh? Yep, there it goes. Ow, that hurts. Oh. oh this is the best razor blade gl grass I've ever eaten. Love it. But he heals up afterwards because we have it set up so that if his stamina is full, he heals. So no big deal. He can't actually kill himself, but it shows us how this could, you know, end up working. Um, there we go. Mm -hmm. So now, I guess maybe what I would probably say is like you want to do damage, so you would skip the first one. And then, because the first one's health, and then if greater, if less than zero, if the health value is less than zero, then we'll deal damage to the character. That way, because we're already handling damage, and things should just simply handle damage to the damage the way that we're meant to handle it, right? So let's go look at our character real quick. And we do have an event of any damage, because currently if we just set his health down, if this isn't fired, he won't die. So we'll, we can cap it like it is, but unfortunately he's just simply never going to die. So we do need to go back in and we need to handle this. So let's go to our good food class. And for each, not so much, we're just going to do a for loop because it gives us a start and an end index. We're going to do one and we're going to get, la no, not get, just last index. Last index is really awesome. Instead of doing, you know, get length minus one. And then this will execute through here. And we'll pull this up to here. We'll pull the indice up to here. And then you can go away. We'll need another get node here. We'll be getting our indice and then we'll be dropping that into the top there. Mm -hmm. So this is the same functionality. Now we're just skipping health. Mm -hmm. And we're going to now say uh, after the fact on our completed before we destroy ourselves we're going to get zero and if this is less than zero give us a branch If it is less than zero, true, we're going to apply 
damage. Because I believe it's any damage. Uh, which should, I think this fires off. I mean, we can look at our bad food. We have it in our bad food. Let's check our bad food. Ab yeah, apply damage. Mm -hmm. So, good food, apply damage. True, feed through, feed through. If false, we just destroy. Amount of damage to apply. There we go. So get a reference to self. And I think it only feeds into one of these, right? Yeah. Damage causer. Mm -hmm. Currently don't have a damage class. Did we put one on here? No, we did not. So that's fine. Yeah. It's just damage. It's just damage. And so now our dude will be able to kill himself to death by eating. Yes, kill himself to death. I said that. And this is just really terrible spaghetti down here, but whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Alexander's like, hmm, I have a meeting to get to. Spaghetti. I have no meetings today. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving is coming up, and all of the Americans are like, no. Just no, no. I, I take this week off. Okay, so let's do this again. Make sure he's taking damage, and then one of these barrels will amp up to murderous levels, and then he can play roulette. Uh-oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, maybe because we never changed our damage on our character to affect a stat. No, hold on. Yeah, we did. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're healing him. Uh. <sighs> so, yeah, when you pass in that yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, damage, yeah, yeah. I want to actually take away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Negative one. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, whatever. We just ABS it. Yeah. Because this only happens if it is negative. Mm -hmm. And then we're good to go. <laughs> I'm applying negative damage to you. Be healed. Run, 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 run. Hungry. Nope. Wait a minute. Why didn't you take damage? Did I feed that in inappropriately? Hold on. Reuse them. Assuming there's food left. Oh, hold on. That's not firing now. Yes. Oh, duh. Jeez. Somebody caught that in chat, didn't they? Hmm. I was. That you I was feeding in his. Array. I was. I was feeding in his own health to decide. <laughs> hey, remove health based on your own health. Yes, when it needs to be a negative number. So, when you're dead, I will kill you harder. Remove <laughs> right point. Oh man, this is so much fun. All right, hit play again. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yay, damage applied. Okay, now that he can kill himself, we're going to make this one barrel over here, like, super, super deadly. Negative 150, just to account for any regen effect that might bring him back from the dead. Oh, he is going back there. Well, he's he's... Just gonna, he's just gonna off himself immediately. Oh, that looks so tasty. Oh, oh. Our poor guy. He ate the wrong barrel. So, great. No, that's, <laughs> but that's freaking awesome. Because now we have a pretty generic consumable that can give any stat. And we can start setting these things up to do more interesting things. Things. Uh, also, we can start defining uh, building stations off of this so that there's a non consumable area region kind of thing, right? Like you get close enough to it while using it and you get a, uh, a heal over time effect 
whatever you want to call it, like stam over time or intellect over time. So, but we are at 250. I don't think I have enough time to jump into anything else because we are going to keep this one to an hour today, guys. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So next time, what's going on next time? Uh, next time for the training stream. Yeah, well, it's going to be us again, but we have we have Mieszko We're going to have Mieszko. We're actually going to make more progress and not just do cleanup. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, this one was more like, wow, well, we really we made a lot of errors. But no, hold on. We did make some decent mm -hmm. progress. This this item is now actually pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, I think I think next time I'm going to give you some of my meshes, so we'll stop using the... Uh, stop using barrels. The barrels, and we'll Yay. give you some apples and some trees, and maybe we can make some trees that'll spawn, spawn apples, apples. That'll be so good. that we don't just have to place our food in the world. It'll just generate itself, and then we don't have to... We can move on to the next resource. Yes. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep building the resources that he's into. Actually, oh, and hit the save button. Thanks, oh, chat. Yeah. We love you. Yeah, uh, control S hit. All right, good. <laughs> that won't happen again. <laughs> happy little trees. Gotta, we're going to put in the happy little trees. Um, they're going to be really nice. And actually, and, uh, I guess a question for you guys on the stream. Uh, no, never mind. I was thinking about it. Like, nah. I, you know I, thought about making prog I thought about making progress offline and... Uh, uh. Handling, uh, having the EQS generator handle the fact that we have a primary stat now, and also looping through all the other stats to decide, like, no, this is bad, this is good. But then I thought about it, I was like, no, that might be really good to have uh, Yeshko on for. Yeah. Because we might be able to talk about maybe how we might set up a custom test for that. Yeah, we can't be, we, but we won't be able to do it in Blueprint. So that would have to be C. And that could be kind of cool. That would be pretty neat. So if we could dive just a little. See, I'm not a C++ person, but if we touch it just a little bit, it'd be kind of interesting. It, it would be, be kind of nice, especially since I think that would be pretty easy. Yeah. In quotes. In yeah, quotes. Quote. Easy, like, easy for us is thinking we're going to take 15 minutes to do one thing and taking 45. Right, but if you consider that we have, we have a generator that's returning, you know, our primary stat of stamina. But now all of our things can have all of these different values across the board. And we can define positive values as good, negative values as bad. Now I need to test all of these objects very quickly, running through their stat arrays and saying, no, 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 this one is actually the best based off of everything that we have you know, to go on. Um, and maybe it just weights them, but you know, it's funny because then you could have the distance one in there the distance test, and be like, that one way over there is actually the best, but this one's closer. Uh, I guess I'm going to eat the poison one. And they just, yeah. Our AI is going to be genius. He's going to be so great. He's going to be so genius. Like a, like a toddler running around <laughs> eating the first thing that he could pick up. <laughs> well, it's just about weight, right? Like, we could, we could take the distance thing down or push it up, whatever, and then that weight could just uh, can play off. So, yeah, we'll get him on here, and we'll see if we can't throw together a test, which I will probably set up the project to a l um, to um, uh, build C++ it, mm -hmm. and that way we can get the classes going on, and then he can help us out for where we go from there. Yeah, and it'll be pretty quick to swap out meshes and stuff. He so. might also come and be like, <laughs> no. Yeah. No, actually, I c actually, that would be probably the best thing is for him to come in here and say, hey, this is uh, not how I intended it to be used. Well, he intended the test to be used. It's just more about... Do they have to be in the engine, or how do we? How do I create a test just for my project? Hmm. Well, like, do I want? To? Well, anyway, we'll these will be things that we <laughs> figure out. We'll answer all these questions and more <laughs> on the next <laughs> Unreal Engine live <laughs> trading stream. <laughs> Thank you all for coming and uh, dealing with our our, our insanity. Our, yeah, our general yeah. madness that is out here. Yeah. Uh, you guys take it easy, and Thanks, we will guys. see you after the holidays. Remember, there's no stream on Thursday, uh, so don't. But we are on next Tuesday. But yes, next Tuesday everything's back to normal again. So we'll see yeah. you guys then. Yep. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.